My name is Mwanda Mutano Kali. I'm reading from Luke chapter 10 till the end. After this, the Lord appointed 72 others and sent them to two by two ahead of him to every town and place where he was about to go. He told them, the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into the harvest field. Go, I am sending you out like lambs among wolves. Do not take a purse or bag or sandals, and do not greet anyone on the road when you enter the house uh, when you enter a house first say peace to this house if someone who promotes peace is there your peace will rest on them if not it will return to you stay there eating and drinking whatever they give you for the worker deserves his wages. Do not move around from house to house. When you enter a town and are welcomed, eat what is of what eat what is offered to you. Heal the sick who are there and tell them the kingdom of God has come near to you. But when you enter a town and are not welcomed, go into its streets and say, Even the dust of your town we wipe from our feet as a warning to you. Yet be sure of this, the kingdom of God has come near. I tell you it will be more bearable on that day for Sodom than for that town. Woe to you, Charizan. Woe to you, Bethsaida, for it, for it, the miracles that were performed in you had been performed in. Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But it will be more bearable for Tyre, Tyre and Sidon at the judgment than for you. And and you you Capernaum will you will you be lifted to the heavens? No, you will go down to the heads. Whoever listens to you listens to me. Whoever rejects you rejects me. But whoever rejects me rejects who sent me. The seventy-two hundred returned with joy and said, Lord, even the demons submit to us in your name. He replied, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and over to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. However, do not rejoice. That spirit however do not rejoice that the spirit submit to you, but Rejoice that your names are written in heaven. At the time Jesus f 
full of joy through through the Holy Spirit said, I praise you, Father, O Lord, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and lands and revealed them to little children. Yes, Father, for this is what you were pleased to do. All things have been committed to me by my Father. No one knows who the Son who the Son is expect is ex, is except the Father, and no one knows who the Father is except the Son and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Then he turned to his disciples and said privately, Blessed are, blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I tell you that many prophets and kings wanted to see what to wanted to see what you see but did not see it and and to hear what you hear but did not hear it. The parable of the good Samaritan. What on one occasion an expert in the law stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he asked what must I do to inherit eternal life? What is written in the law? In the law, he replied, How do you read it? He answered, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and love your neighbors as you love yourself. You have answered correctly, Jesus replied. Do this and you will live. But he wanted to justify himself, so he asked Jesus, And who is my neighbor? In reply, Jesus said, A man who is going down from Jerusalem to Jericho, when he was attacked by robbers, they stripped him of his clothes, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down the same road, and when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. So to a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan as he traveled came where the man was and and when he saw him he took pity on him. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on on oil and wine. Then he put the man on his own donkey and and brought him to an inn and took care of him. The next day he took out two denarii and gave the and gave them to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and when I return I will reimburse you for any extra expense you may have which one which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man or who fell into the hands of of the robber of the robbers the expert in the law replied the one who had mercy on him
Jesus told him, Go and do like likewise at the name of the home of Martha and Mary. As Jesus and his disciples were on their way, he came to a village where a woman named Martha opened her home to him. She had a sister called Mary who sat at the Lord's feet listening to what he said. But Martha was distracted by all the preparations that had to be made. She came to him and asked, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do the work by myself? Tell her to help me. Martha, Martha, the Lord answered, You are worried and upset about many things, but few things are needed or indeed one only one. Mary has chosen what is better and it will not be taken away from her. Thank you.